In this class, we are going to learn how to name and draw spiral compounds. Spiral, S-P-I-R-O, spiral compounds. The first question you ask yourself is this, what are spiral compounds? A spiral compound is a compound in which a carbon atom is used to link two cyclic rings together. How do I mean? If I have a carbon atom here at the center and I have a cyclic ring here, something like this. This is a cyclic ring. And I have another cyclic ring around here. I can put it this way. Something like this. This is another cyclic ring. And see that I have two cyclic rings. And these two cyclic rings are connected together by a single carbon atom here. So such a compound in which two cyclic rings are connected together by a single carbon atom. Such a compound is called a spiral compound. Now let's see how to name spiral compounds. We'll start with the first example here. If I have something like this, this on the board is a spiral compound. This is the spiral carbon, the carbon that connects the two cyclic rings, that is this one here, is called the spiral carbon. Now, how do we name a spiral compound? You number the compound first. Start numbering from the lower cyclic ring first. On this side, I have one, two, three, four, five carbons. On the left, on the right, I have one, two, three carbons. This side, I have five carbons. This side, I have three. When you are numbering a spiral compound, start numbering from the lower ring. How do I mean? This is my lower ring, so I'll start from here. Oh, so this is my number one, this is two, this is three. Then, I'm done numbering my lower ring. After numbering the lower ring, you number the spiral carbon. That is the carbon that connects the two rings. This is my four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There are a total of nine carbon atoms here. And because there are a total of nine carbon atoms, I know that the name will end with no name. No name, remember no name means nine carbons. Now how do I not name this? Because it is a spiral compound, the name will start with spiral. This is spiral. You open a square bracket. Then, when you open this square bracket, you tell us how many carbons make up this spiral compound. Tell us the lower, the lower side, how many carbons are there. Tell us the higher side, how many carbons are there. When you want to give the name of a spiral compound, First thing you write is spiral. Second, open your square bracket. Tell us the number of carbon atoms that make up the lower side. Tell us the number of carbon atoms that make up the higher side. Then, tell us the total number of carbons present. We have numbered, and from our numbering, the total carbons present, there are nine. So how do I name? I'll say spiral, I'll open my bracket. On the lower side, which is my right hand side, I have one, two, three carbons. Remember, this central one does not belong to any of the rings. It is on its own. So this side has only these rings, one, two, three carbons. I'll say three, put a dot, three dots. On the higher side, how many carbons do I have? One, two, three, four, five. That is five. Remember, the Spiral carbon, that is the one that connects the two rings, I did not include it for any side. It is on its own. 
If I have on this side, I have one, two, three. That is this three. Put a dot. On this side, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five here. Now, total carbon is mine, which is no name. So the name of this compound is spiro 3.5 no name. That's interesting. Let's see another example so that you get used to this without much stress. Let's see another example on spiral compound nomenclature. If I have one like this, let's take this. For instance, I have something like this. Yeah, have this. Okay, can have something like this. This. Yeah, let's take it this way. This is another spiral compound. What makes it a spiral compound is because a single carbon atom, one carbon atom is used to connect two cyclic rings. This is a cyclic ring, this is another cyclic ring. So one carbon atom is used to bond them together, therefore it is a spiral compound. Remember, if I have something like this, something like this, uh, if we have something, a structure like this, discover that this is a cyclic ring, this is another cyclic ring, but these two cyclic rings are joined together by two carbon atoms here and here. So this is not a spiral compound. Spiral compounds have only one carbon atom that connects the rings. Don't forget that. Now, how do I number this? Start numbering from the lower ring side. Doesn't matter whether it's on the left or the right. Start from the lower side. And this side, I have one, two, three, four, carbon atoms, while here I have one, two. I can number this as one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I have a total of seven carbon atoms, which simply means that the name is going to end with heptane. Remember, heptane is seven. Now, how do I name? First, I'll write spiral to show that it's a spiral compound. Open my brackets and put the number of rings. The lower side, on the lower ring side, this is my lower ring side. How many carbons make up the lower side? I have one, two, two carbons. How many make up the higher side? I have one, two, three, four. So this side has two rings, two carbons, this side has four. Remember, the central carbon is not included for any side. It's on its own. This side, I have one, two, which is to write the lower side first, dots, the higher side, one, two, three, four. Write the higher side. So I have spiral two dot four. The total carbon I have here is seven, which is heptane. Spiral two dot four heptane. Okay, let's proceed. Now, I'm going to name one more, after which I will give you one to name by yourself. Now, let's try this. I can actually give you something like this. Something like this. Let's name this. You know, this is a spiral compound. This is my spiral carbon atom at the center. If you look at this, I have this side to be one, two carbons. This side is also two carbons, so both sides are equal. I can number from any side. So this is my one, two, three, four, and five. So how do I give the name? This is spiral bracket. How many carbons on, the, on this side? I have two carbons. Dot, how many carbons on the other side? One, two, two carbons, that's two dot two. Then total carbons I have, there are five, and five means pentane. So this is spiral 2.2 pentane. .2 now, I want you to try this one by yourself. Give me the name of this spiral compound. Type the name into the comment section. I will look at the comments, I will see your comments. If you are correct, I will reply you and tell you correct. If you are wrong, I will tell you you are wrong and then I will correct you. 
So the spiral compound we are going to use as our assignment now. I want you to take these two assignments. Give me the names of these two spiral compounds here. My number one is this and number two is this. Go into the comment box, click on comments. But please, before you do this, like this page. Give us your comment. Tell us how you, whether you are enjoying this class or not, give me your reply to help me to know where to come in to help you. Meanwhile, these are the two questions I'm giving you as your homework. Give me the names of these two spiral compounds. You go to the comment box to say, number one, you write the name. Number two, you write the name. I'll go back to the comment and reply your answers. Thank you for watching this video. Please do me this favor by sharing this video with your friends and tell them to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.